Hey guys, so we're going to keep moving on my 5K series. I've done my two most recent videos. I've done 5K workouts that at 520 pace, and then I've done them at 5 minute pace. Today I'm going to go down to 440 per mile pace. I'm going to give you six workouts that are on the whiteboard. I'm going to take you there in a second, okay, that constitute specific paces. But I wanted to do this because, like my other videos, I've had sub 20 all the way down to sub 15 minutes. The goal time ends in a zero, but the goal pace generally does not. That's why I'm kind of doing the goal pace now, ending in a zero, because it's easier to calculate to when you when you design workouts and things like that. So we're focusing on 440 per, work, per, per mile today, which is 35 seconds on a 200 meter track, 70 seconds, nice even number on a 400 meter track, okay? Um, and the other ones are down in the description below, as well as my fully detailed training programs for the 5K, so you can see how I kind of lay out the training. Okay, if that's something you like and you, if this is your first time here, well, number one, welcome to the channel. And um, I hope you enjoyed enough to come back. I hope you find this informative. But take a look. I've got about 200 videos of fully detailed training programs, videos from 800 meters all the way up to the marathon, all different levels. So if you're a coach or an athlete, look no further. This is the channel uh, to, to binge watch training videos. You will learn a boatload. And I'm sharing 20 plus years of experience as a former uh, competitive runner and a current coach. I'm a USATF certified coach as well and a Wharton trained and certified musculoskeletal therapist. So keeping you healthy and helping you run fast is my goal. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to serve you folks, to help you folks get better, share my knowledge that if you're a coach, you can help your athletes get better. You can learn more. Uh, we all learn from each other and I've been fortunate to learn to learn from some of the best coaches around and uh, all across the world. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. And I want to share kind of my own personal philosophy that I've taken two, two decades to build and uh, to kind of help you, maybe guide you on your path. Maybe they'll answer some questions for you. They'll solve some problems for you, give you a little bit of a different perspective and insight. That's what, the, that's what other coaches have done for me. I'm hoping to do the same for you. Okay, but with that, um, and make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification so you know exactly when my next videos are coming out. Just so you know, uh, I've, I've done the 525 minutes and 440. I'm going to do 540 and then six minute pace. And then I'll work my way up if anybody uh, would like me to do so. So those videos are coming as well. Five to six workouts at these specific paces. So they're easier to calculate. Okay. And so with that, let's get over here. Let's get over to the good stuff, the details, the, the meat and potatoes, the nitty gritty. All right. So again, six workouts, okay? So down here a little bit. Right? So it looks like I actually have a neck and shoulders. <laughs> no. So 440 per mile is a 1435K, okay? And uh, that's how it's broken down. Nice even numbers. Now, let's go over six workouts and compare it. A lot of, There's a lot of similarities to my five minute per mile workouts to my uh, 520 per mile. There'll be some similarities going up to six minutes, but there'll be some differences as well, okay? Um, as you see, uh, as they get faster, you'll see some more, a little bit more aggressive reps and aggressive workouts, provided your athletes are fit and experienced enough to handle them. These are paces here, just so you know, these numbers are paces you're building towards wherever you are if you want to accomplish your 1435 or 1435K, okay? These are the end goal, end, uh, end goal paces, okay? So with that, let's do some 1,000 meter reps first. You get two options. The first option is six times a thousand with a one minute recovery or 60 seconds at 309 to 307. That's essentially five minute pace or 502 pace per mile. That's threshold pace, okay? So it's about 20 seconds slower per mile than race pace, okay? And again, it's broken up into pieces. It's a little bit over distance, but it's some, something you should be able to handle. Your athlete should be able to handle, okay? Option B is five, building towards five to six times 1,000 meter efforts with a two minute recovery at 5k pace, 254 to 253. It's about 439 to, five, uh, to 440 per mile. Repeat thousands. It's a staple workout for 5k. Okay. And again, it's interval pace. So it's race pace. So that's where that's not workout one workout two. This is a constant. I recommend it for everybody training for uh, 5k a mile, 3k, 5k, even longer, but it's a building towards a 20 minute to a four mile continuous tempo run. Okay. These are anaerobic threshold reps. This is an anaerobic threshold tempo run. It's a continuous run, but the emphasis is anaerobic threshold. Aerobic threshold is 30 to 60 minutes, okay, and it's at a slower pace. And in this case, the anaerobic threshold is 515 to 510 per mile, okay? So you're looking at about 30 seconds, 35 seconds slower per mile than race pace, about 10 seconds slower per mile 
and anaerobic threshold refs broken into pieces. So um, there's some similar trends here, so you can notice. I would not exceed 25 minutes for this anaerobic threshold run. At that point, it can start to become counterproductive. And so limiting at four miles to 25 minutes is a good idea. Okay. And as you can see, at 510 per mile, you might have athletes who can get in a little under five miles. Okay. At that particular pace. But again, it's building towards these. So not everybody can handle it right away. And I wouldn't recommend it right away. You know, I've got workouts on how to build towards this in pieces. I encourage you to watch that one too. I'll actually put it in the description below so you can have, you have access to it right away. Okay. All pertinent videos related to this one will be down below. Number three, seven to eight times 800 meter, 800 meter staple reps. And this is for some folks, you might have some middle distance runners who, who just don't handle the thousand meter reps well. Well, this gives you another option. Okay. Seven to eight times 800. So you're building towards 5,600 to about four miles worth of total volume, which doesn't exceed that either. Two minute recovery, you're doing 219 to 218. Okay. It's about 437 to 438 per mile pace. So a second or two faster per mile than goal pace. Okay. Workout four, you have three options. Okay. These are 1200 meter reps. This is also a good early season indication of where you're at as well. So, so is this. It gives you an idea of everybody's fitness. Okay. First one is five times 1200. And again, at 75 seconds, so it's at the same threshold pace as this, so it's 347 to 345, okay, which is pretty much spot on five minutes to 502 per mile. You're just spending more time in the threshold zone. So folks progressing from this to that work, you're building your way towards that, okay. Um, then again, that's threshold pace with a one minute and 15 second recovery. Option B, four to five times a 1200 with a two minute recovery at 330 to 328 which is pretty much 438 to 440 per mile. Lock in a goal pace, okay? Two minutes. If you need 230, you can take 230, okay? But two minutes should be the sweet spot, okay? And then last but not least, here, three to four times 1,200 meters. We cut the volume back, but the same distance rep. We added a minute recovery to make it three minutes, but now we're doing them at 3K pace, okay? The goal is to build towards 321 to 320. Now you're talking 427 to 428 per mile. So you should be able to run that pace for a 3k and that'll give you a good idea whether you're ready to run 440 for 5k okay so again three to four of them with a three minute recovery at 3k pace all right um next one 400 meter repeat reps this is a good early season workout too workout five 14 to 16 building towards 14 to 16 400 meters um 45 second recovery so it's short it creeps up on you pretty quickly and you're running your locking right in 69 70 okay 438 to 440 pace. See how well you respond to it before you build towards the longer stuff. So you progress towards the longer stuff. So a great early season workout, right? And last but not least, and I said this in my other videos, this is a workout that I use to transition from early season to mid season. Okay. When you start incorporating a little bit more intense work, and that's just the way I do it. I kind of break my seasons up into cycles and transition from kind of threshold and speed towards infusing a little bit of both and then the most intense uh well the most race uh the race intent uh, race pace work towards the last cycle the most intense phase volume wise is in the middle cycle so if it's a 12 week season i have it one to four five to eight nine and twelve my most intense phase is weeks five to eight and this falls right in between there okay so in this case it's two sets of three to four times one thousand you might have some middle distance runners who can only handle three of them but two sets but the distance folks can handle four that's the idea to build towards, okay? So two sets of them. First set you run down at 309 to 307, which is threshold pace, okay? The same one minute recovery. You're doing three to four of them. And then in between the set, you take six to eight minutes. You jog about 800 meters, stay loose, get some fluids, okay? And then we come back for the second set of three to four reps. And you're doing them in 254 to 253, which is race pace or a second or two faster per mile. Okay, but you take a two-minute recovery in the second set instead of a one-minute recovery in the first set. So you're transitioning from threshold to race pace. You're doing a little bit of both. You're not doing too much of anything, okay? And that's a good way of transitioning towards, building towards that, okay? Building towards that, okay? Over time, this is a way to do it. Hybrid workouts allow you to transition. So um, 
let me know if you find these helpful. And you, you and like I said, they're similar to my other videos, but that's okay. Um, you know, there are a lot of meat and potato workouts. I will infuse some more workouts as well. But like I said, I'm gonna work my way. I'm gonna go 540 next, and then I'm gonna do six minutes per mile after that as well. So if you want to see them, hit the notification and the subscribe button. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.